Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome uh, back to another 2021 movie review. And in this review, I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla vs. Kong. Yep, I said I knew. I said I was going to do this review on Wednesday, and it's Wednesday, so I just finished watching it this morning, and I have to admit, there's some stuff that I thought about this movie that were not ex something I did not expect. But anyways, let's get into it. So, Godzilla vs. Kong is a... Is like it's a sequel to the monster universe of movies when it comes to like King Kong, Godzilla, Godzilla King of Monsters, those types of movies. And basically the whole point of the movies is, of this movie specifically, is because Kong and Godzilla are the only two uh, titans left in the world, they have to fight to see who deserves to be the, the main one living on the world and and uh basically yeah so the one thing i was a bit surprised at is when it comes to the hu little human girl that could comp supposedly communicate with kong and the fact that godzilla was out of was out of nowhere just attacking cities when he was supposed to be the protector because i think this movie kind of takes place right after the events of godzilla king of the monsters and he basically um and i think there were even some returning characters but uh anyway so like i said i thought like i, I guess i'm gonna be quite honest i'm not really that much of a fanatic over these films now now Kong Skull Island was a movie that I was okay with that was a pretty decent movie Godzilla vs. Kong I mean when it comes to who wins that's the one thing that I think is gonna hurt this movie a little bit when it comes to how people review it because I mean like I said if some people were making bets saying Godzilla would win, or some people were betting that Kong would win. But when it, whichever one um, loses the bet, like if some people say Kong may win and he um, and he loses, then those people are going to be pretty upset. Or if Godzilla um, wins, or if Godzilla loses and or whatever, and Kong wins, people who are fans of Godzilla would be like pretty pissed off, not being very happy with the way they, the movie went, and I have to admit, that's probably the one thing that I think is probably going to hurt this movie a little bit. I mean, not, not, however, I feel like the fact that they just pushed the release of Mortal Kombat back a, at least a week, so instead of it being released on the 16th, they're going to release it on the 23rd. It's still being released in, on, in theaters and on HBO Max. Just like Godzilla vs. Kong was, but I think the reason why they did that was to give this movie a little bit more time to try to get that money up in the box office. And I gotta say, this is a movie that I really wasn't. I really didn't have high hopes for this movie because, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not really that much of a fanatic in. When it comes to these monsterverse movies, and um, I would I would still recommend you go see this movie. It was pretty fun to watch, but in reg if I had to make it just give you a d choice on whether to see it in theaters or on HBO Max, if you have HBO Max, I would probably say you would probably be better off watching it on HBO Max. But if you don't have HBO Max, and you need and you have no other choice but seeing in the theaters, it's definitely a fun time to watch film to watch. And like I said, Godzilla vs Kong has gotten multiple delays when it comes to the how it gets released. I mean, 
I think it's had a total of, I think, three or four release dates total. Because I think the movie was supposed to come out around April or May of last year. Um, after Black Widow, and then then it got pushed to, I think, July. Then it got pushed to November, then April, and then back to March. I mean, it, it got a lot of pushbacks, and I think that's what kind of hurt this movie. And plus, another thing is because the movie is getting released on HBO Max for no additional cost, like I said, I think that's what's going to hurt a lot of the Warner Brothers films that come out this year. I mean, take Tom and Jerry, for example. That movie came out on HBO Max and in theaters at the same time, and right now, just in the U.S. alone, it it's only gotten up to, like, maybe $50 million. Um, just in our country alone, in the U.S., and I don't think it's going to... It's ever going to get more than $100 million in the in the U.S. box office, that, that is. it. I feel like it's probably going to get over $100 million worldwide, but it's probably not going to do very well domestically because of the whole situation. And I have a very strong feeling that the only movies that have come out so far this year that have actually done pretty well is are the Universal films, because the way Universal has their movies on release, the release strategy for those movies, they, they are allowed to keep it in theaters for at least 17 days before they can put it on VOD for like rent or something. Those movies seem to be doing a lot better than Warner Brothers films. I mean, take the last year with The Croods 2, that was a Universal film, and that movie is doing insanely well. I guess because it's a family film, but this film is something that I really don't think. If you were, if you want to go see it, if, you should probably see it with some teenagers or or some mature adults because I don't think kids are going to be very fond of this movie. But because not only is it PG thirteen, but there are some scenes that would probably be scary for them. And like I said, I'm trying not to spoil who wins or loses because. Like I said, a lot of people still need to watch this movie before they find out. But for now, let me give you my rating of Godzilla vs. Kong. So, for my rating of this movie, like I said, it wasn't... I still thought it was enjoyable, but it's something that I don't think a lot of people will will be appreciative of, especially when, when it comes to who wins or, or loses especially with that whole thing about people betting on who it would be. So I'm going to give Godzilla vs. Kong a 3.5 out of 5. Like I said, it still did okay in my opinion, but the reason why I gave it that rating is because of the whole debate on who wins or who loses. So anyways, that's all for now in this review. And before I end off this video, I do... I want to say, if you want to go subscribe to the channels that I will have linked in the description below, those are just some small shout-outs that I'm going to be giving to, to people that I know. I'm not going to say their names, just if you want, I still think you should at least go check these people out. And anyways, like I said, their links will be in the description below. And that's all for now in this review, and I will see all you dudes in the next video.